Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 underrated RuPaul's Drag Race lip sync performances. That's what they say when we're together. <laughs> for this list, we're looking at the most amazing lip syncs from the original American franchise that don't get their due from the fans. Because we'll be revealing key points of the episodes, a spoiler alert is in order. Did your favorite underrated lip sync make the list? Sound off in the comments. Number 20. My Humps – Utica Queen vs. Tina Burner The kooky fashion queen from Minnesota being a lip-sync assassin was not on our Season 13 bingo card. I am honestly scared, but I am here to fight, and I am here to just lay it all out on this stage because that's where I feel most at home. When she and Tina Burner landed in the bottom for the Pop Goes the Queen challenge, the two were pretty evenly matched. Their beast couture looks only added to the ridiculousness of the situation. However, it was Utica who stole the spotlight with her hilariously dramatic and villainous take on the song. Her Maleficent inspired outfit had her looking like a fairy tale witch who was determined to hypnotize us with her humps. Not to be outdone, Tina also got her chance to shine. After all, who wouldn't love a hairy beast doing iconic dances from the 90s? Number 19. Dirty Manila Luzon vs. Kylie Sonique Love. We all knew we were about to get a show when drag race legend Manila Luzon was announced as the week's lip sync assassin. She's a powerhouse in her own right. But she wasn't quite prepared for Kylie Sonic Love, a queen who makes a backflip into a split look like kid stuff. She owned the stage like a seasoned pop star, and the lip sync was so tight that for a brief moment, we lived in a world where there was no Christina Aguilera, only Kylie Sonic Love. Technically, Manila Luzon was this week's lip sync assassin, but if anyone slayed on the main stage in this performance, it was the season's eventual winner. Number 18, I Kissed a Girl, Benda La Creme vs. Shangela. Some lip syncs are made so much better when the queens play off of one another, and this All Stars 3 lip sync for your legacy is a great example. Playing against type, Benda La Creme assumes the part of the ultra feminine bad girl, while Shangela is the repressed and introverted bookworm. Together, they present a heartbreaking and hysterical character study of sexual awakenings, forbidden love, and vulgarity. No big deal at <laughs> it was amazing to begin with, but once Shangela started tossing those breath mints, it was a wrap. Ultimately, they were both declared winners, but we have to wonder, where are their Tony Awards? Because this performance unfolds like an entire Broadway epic in pantomime. Number 17. Meeting in the Ladies' Room – Stacey Lane Matthews vs. India Farah This climax song calls for a fierce attitude and a take-no-prisoners approach. Needless to say, Stacey Lane Matthews heard that loud and clear. I had this mentality, you know, just be fierce, be a bitch, give attitude, give everything that they need to keep me in this competition. Other season three lip syncs soak up all the glory, but Stacey's fierce delivery proved one thing. She was not a BW, a basic woman. She was a star. The country queen from North Carolina was season three's biggest underdog. Watching her take on the role of a woman who is just daring you to start some beef with her is kind of funny and also a little scary. Don't slap me. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. After all, she had to leave her condo to come to this. Number 16. Carry On – Sahara Davenport vs. Morgan McMichaels As if the possibility of elimination wasn't dire enough, RuPaul seemingly raised the stakes when she revealed just how much this Martha Wash song meant to her. Because when my mother, who had suffered from a long bout with cancer, finally passed away, I was listening to this song uh, incessantly. Sahara Davenport and Morgan McMichaels clearly took that to heart. While Morgan was by no means terrible, the standout performance here undeniably came from Sahara. Known for her formal training in ballet and her graceful style of lip-syncing, Sahara was able to meld her expertise seamlessly with this house anthem of perseverance and strength. The 
lip sync also took on a whole new meaning when Sahara tragically passed away in October of 2012. Number 15. Point of No Return – Ben de la Creme vs. Darian Lake During Season 6, Ben de la Creme was a fan favorite, but Darian Lake was constantly on her heels and her neck. I think it's better not to strut around and be like a peacock when you win. You gotta make sure that you're not too in love with yourself. Ben de la Creme. Their season-long rivalry almost came to an end in Week 7. Having both landed in the bottom, they matched each other point for point while performing Exposé's Point of No Return. Both were in some of the best drag they featured on the season, shimmering as they caught every beat and every word. Other queens have pulled plenty of tricks and stunts to wordless sections of a song, but Darian miming as if collecting tips from an invisible audience is an all-time lip-sync moment. It was a well-deserved double chante. Number 14. I'm So Excited – Coco Montrese vs. Jade Jolie Tonight's the night we're gonna make it happen. Coco Montrese is at least half responsible for some of the most remarkable lip-syncs on Drag Race, as well as one of the show's most famous rivalries. Long before her ultimate triumph over Alyssa Edwards, she took down Jade Jolie to the 80s classic I'm So Excited right in front of the Pointer Sisters. Both of the queens gave this one their all, and the bubbly energy in the room was palpable. Even the judges couldn't stop themselves from lip-syncing right along with them. Once that first chorus hit, though, it was impossible to look away from Coco's explosive choreography and playful demeanor. Indeed, she kicked her way to a clear victory. Number 13. I've Got to Use My Imagination – Latrice Royale vs. Dita Ritz Latrice and Dita were two of Season 4's best lip-sync performers, and when they hit the stage to this percussive Gladys Knight classic, it was a true battle royale. I've really got to use my imagination. Both of them understood the assignment. Dita's high-energy performance style served her well here, but Latrice paid special attention to the meaning behind the lyrics. What's more, she didn't even have to compromise on the entertainment value to do it. Latrice was taking me to church. I mean, my skin started smoking. It was good. Her dramatic style perfectly aligned with the song's themes of grit and determination in the face of a dying relationship. It was a good fight, but ultimately it was Latrice who was allowed to keep on keeping on. Number 12. Knock on Wood – Alexis Mateo vs. Stacey Lane Matthews For reasons that defy logic, Alexis Mateo is not always listed among the Drag Race legends. Considering her high-flying performance to Amy Stewart's Knock on Wood, she's easily a contender for legendary status. The editors may have taken a few liberties with this lip sync, but honestly, if you told us that Alexis could cause a rift in the space time continuum when she performs, we'd believe it. On the other hand, Stacey Lane Matthews seemed uncomfortable with the song from the jump. Now, I'm no stranger to being bald on the runway, but Stacey is taking out track by track by track. It looks like a poodle just shed all over the runway. Even if she had found her footing later on in the number, it still would have been hard to catch up to Alexis. Number 11. I Think We're Alone Now – Ginger Minge and Sasha Bell vs. Jaden Dior Fierce and Tempest Du Jour Season 7 gave us a lot of tight, polished, and technically impressive lip syncs. This is not one of them. This four-way performance by Ginger Minge, Sasha Bell, Jaden Dior Fierce, and Tempest Du Jour was a complete and total mess, but frankly, that's what makes it so great. They don't right from a maxi challenge where the remaining queens had to walk the runway attached to a previously eliminated contestant, this lip sync presented some logistical challenges. However, from Ginger motorboating herself to the amusing attempts of Tempest and Jaden to dance while attached, it was still a lot of fun. As Jaden described it, this one was hashtag the best I can do right now in this situation. You cannot help but cackle. Number 10. Lover Girl – Candy Ho vs. Mrs. Kasha Davis I absolutely deserve to be in this competition. 
Rue, I'm ready. Let's do this. When she's put up against Candy Ho, Mrs. Kasha Davis pulls up her skirt and says, let's do this. Davis is serving across the stage to Lover Girl and gets some exceptional praise from Ginger Minge. Miss Kasha Davis just pulls up the slit in that skirt, and honey, she is serving these young kids. While Jaden points out that Candy starts off slow, she earns early laughs from RuPaul. As her routine speeds up, Candy brings attitude to her lines and drops to her knees. While their gowns would normally limit a performance, both queens offer a lot of face to compensate. It's Candy Ho's building energy, however, that has us coming back to this lip sync. <laughs> <laughs> Number 9. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. Alyssa Edwards versus Ivy Winters. I'm disappointed, of course. I don't want to be known as being in the bottom two times in a row. For her second lip sync in a row, Alyssa Edwards needed to deliver when she sang Ain't Nothing Going On But The Rent. Alyssa puts everything out in front of the judges in an effort to beat out Ivy Winters. Bill collectors at my door, what can you do for me? Ivy insists on singing in place as she talks about focusing on the lyrics from her corner. I want them to focus on my mouth and hope that what I do is better than what she's doing. Life is free. Though Jinx Monsoon claims Ivy is owning her side of the stage, Alyssa easily dominates everything else. Through their dramatically different energies, Alyssa and Ivy brought a lot of romance to their finance looks. Number 8. Head to Toe – Gia Gunn vs. Laganja Estranja after a very mixed edition of Snatch Game, Gia Gunn and Laganja had their friendship tested in the bottom two. I can't believe I'm in the bottom two, and I'm up against one of my best friends in this competition, and that really sucks. As they groove to Lisa Lisa's head to toe, the two queens put a lot of chemistry into very contrasted dances. Despite being read by guests like Gillian Jacobs for not being funny, Gia fits a costume change into her otherwise controlled routine. Ms. Estranja, however, goes all out and drops a jump split right next to her opponent. The jump split is pretty impressive. I can see the difference in their style. She is a lot more controlled. Laganja is giving everything. Though Gia's voguing made up for a lackluster Kim Kardashian impression, Laganja's energy was undeniably more impressive. Number 7. Call Me – Chi-Chi Devane vs. Naysha Lopez with members of Blondie themselves watching on, Naisha and Chi Chi had to deliver when they lip synced to Call Me. The two queens bring intense rock moves in their neon realness outfits, as Devane says it's time to hustle. With her second elimination of the season on the line, Lopez shows great eye to the judges, along with some flips. Chi-Chi returns the favor with gymnastics of her own and a backflip that makes Rue's jaw drop. The two end the lip sync on an energetic note as they end up on the floor gesturing to the judges to call them. <laughs> Number 6. Even Angels – Alexis Mateo vs. Shangela the queens face a brutal outfit and wig challenge, which puts Shangela and Alexis head to head in the bottom. I'm driving in circles, should have bought that new phone. Though both contestants were known for their high energy, Fantasia's Even Angels demanded a much more emotional show. Shangela delivered plenty of hand moves and an upbeat enthusiasm for the song, all while in her hair dress. Alexis, on the other hand, was interpreting the song with her entire body, which Manila deemed timeless. With Shangela and Alexis on the verge of tears, Fantasia herself cheers as they finish. By redeeming a read-worthy runway day, these queens brought the house down. Number 5. Vogue – Milan vs. Kenya Michaels Kenya's very messy showing on Snatch Game pits her against Milan, who was read for an outfit that was more drag king than queen. Bottom line, it's still a drag queen competition and you're giving us drag king. 
With Madonna's classic Vogue behind them, the two queens are ridiculously high energy in different ways. You try everything you can to escape the pain of life that you know. As much as Kenya's antics hurt her snatch game, this attitude translated into an endlessly watchable dance. Milan's quirky moves get mixed reactions at first, but her voguing quickly stands out. The pair ends up doing simultaneous dips and even share a tango moment together. Milan and Kenya gave audiences something to remember with their ecstatic performances and tribute to Vogue history. Number 4. Something He Can Feel Jujube vs. Tatiana as season two was nearing the finals, stars like Jujubee and Tatiana ended up against each other when the standards were high. After a draining dance challenge that week, the queens were asked to slow things down for some Aretha Franklin. Despite a lot of glowing work from Tatiana across the competition, she couldn't nail Franklin's vocals and often sang backups. Juju redeemed her dancing missteps by bringing raw soul and giggle-inducing humor to her lip-sync. The subtle comedy and appropriate interpretation was captivating and helped secure Jujubee's place as the season's lip-sync assassin. Number 3. Mesmerized – Robbie Turner vs. Cynthia Lee Fontaine a roller girl realness challenge meant the bottom two could do their lip sync in wheels or heels. Do you want to lip sync in heels or wheels? Heels. Wheels. With Robbie Turner on skates and Cynthia Lee Fontaine rocking shoes, you can hear queens screaming in excitement. Cynthia embraces Faith Evans mesmerized by frantically kicking and punching her heart out. Robbie taps into the disco side of the song with her wheels and flows hypnotically around the stage. Robbie gets so caught up in her act that she breaks a light by accident and tumbles off the podium. Between Cynthia's magical cuckoo and Robbie's sliding, there was a lot to make the judges holler at this dance. Robbie Turner, Shantae, you stay. Thank you. Number two, Shake It Off, Roxy Andrews versus Tatiana. The same parts. <laughs> In typical all-stars fashion, Roxy and Tatiana were actually on stage because they rocked their talent show. With $10,000 on the line for their best rendition of Shake It Off, these ladies work in peak form. I see I'm too late. Got nothing in my brain. Roxy fit her burlesque style around the lip sync for a uniquely cheeky and glamorous update to Taylor Swift's hit. After a spoken word win at the talent show, Tatiana had a lot of lyric-specific choreography. Though Roxy spent most of the season clawing her way out of the bottom, her personality and flying tassels helped her wow the judges while she lip-synced for her legacy. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Two of Hearts – Morgan McMichaels vs. Kylie Sonique Love for their fight set to Two of Hearts, Kylie Sonique Love and Morgan McMichaels pitted flashy moves against accurate lip work. Kylie insists on doing whatever it takes and sensually strips down for the excited crowd. She wastes no time and begins flipping and splitting around the entire stage. Morgan nails every single word of the song, with RuPaul praising her as one of the series' tightest performers. As earlier mentioned, Morgan's low-energy show wouldn't help her against the fierce Sahara one episode later, however. 
This masterclass in lip sync technique and variety is still one of the series highlights to this day. Morgan, the precision of your lip sync was one of the tightest we've ever seen. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.